My name is Emma Fosa. I'm Joy. And today we're going to talk about being a creative university and how to manage it. Yes, I'm on video. Hello, <laughs> Let's get right into it. <laughs> Hey. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Emma Fossin and today I have the lovely Geraldine with me. <laughs> She's a fellow YouTuber and also a fellow HSE student and we're going to talk about how to cope being a, being a student and being a, a YouTuber, influencer, you know, model, etc. Yeah. What I mean is being in school, there are some things you have to do, like submissions. So make sure that you are aware of the things you have to submit. Do them on time so that like you can I think, put the extra character on the side. Make sure you're submitted all the things you have to submit. And then focus on the extra character and stuff so that you don't lose on the academic side and win on the other side. You need a win. So always prioritize your list of extracurricular duties against your um, academic duties and then you weigh them out like of course you can't always choose your extracurricular over your academics so academics always come first yeah and and in a see like we mentioned in our previous video go check it out Jody talks about university tips and you have to um, there's some in a see there's a rule that you shouldn't miss more than six classes so uh, I'm just saying that you can miss one class and if that class benefits you on the other side and you don't really lose much, it's not really a bad idea. If you don't know where to start and like, or you're not getting a job at the moment, you can do um, things back on your own. For example, um, low budget things like photography, modeling, um, YouTubing. You can be an yeah, you can be an also a YouTube driver. <laughs> You can be an Uber driver, yeah, because like for people who are in town and like us who are far away from mm. civilization, like if you're in Lagos and cool, you can actually be an Uber driver. And I'm saying these things because, for example, if you are a YouTuber, you can start with maybe your phone. Mm. We've all done it before. And then um, if you're a model, you can ask your fellow friends to take pictures of you and start small, get out there, but mm. make sure like you're focusing on quality. Yeah. Yes. And um, you can always learn how to edit pictures online. So I link out to edit pictures okay. um, from YouTube. So I use a Lightroom app and then... Jardine goes on to say that there are so many tutorials on how to use presets and how to edit your photos on YouTube. Then I come in and say that I use Lightroom and Visco to edit my photos. And fortunately, there are some free presets you can also use and modify it to your taste. Right. <laughs> Point five, um, stay inspired. Um, for example, I use on Instagram whenever I see photos of people that I wish like I, I plan to do the same thing or a similar concept, I save it under my bucket list there so that like I have like a whole bunch of pictures that I want to try and things that I want to do like hiking and stuff and it just keeps me inspired. Okay, so I didn't want to do this y'all, but there's just too much wind noise in the video and so I'm going to do a voiceover for the parts where there's too much wind noise. <laughs> Great, now that that's covered, let's proceed. As I was saying, I use my Instagram safe collection for inspiration and I like to jot down the things I like to do and cross them out as soon as I'm done with them. I name my child, I name the child, so I save that in, on Instagram and also um, for Okay, honestly, I can't tell what she's saying over here. Then we went on and on talking about how we screenshot more than we save pictures on Instagram. <laughs> Let me know if you guys do the same thing too. This means that you may be using half of your study time for your extracurricular activity. Therefore, when you go back to your books, you may have to put in double the amount of time, double the effort. You may have to give up your beauty sleep, your weekend fun, just so that you can catch up in class and get on top of your game in class. Because you're spending your extra time or half of your time or less than half of your time on your extracurricular stuff. Number seven. And this is very important. If um, if doing extracurricular stuff is too much for you, 
Like if you started and you can't handle it, <laughs> you're stressed out and it's getting the most of you. It's definitely not a bad thing, so you can put the extracurricular stuff on hold. Because at this point, your academics are very important, are more important. And after school, maybe you can take it up again and continue because life is not a race. It's fine, it's really good to take a break. Take it easy. Um, take it easy. Like, you won't always get it right the first few times. Yes, and most of us can attest to this. We don't always get it right the first few times. Some people do, and that's awesome, but some of us don't have that privilege of that luck. So it's not something to feel bad about. Instead, we should analyze what happened, see what could have been done properly or better, and then proceed to do that. I mean, because if you get all in your feelings, it wouldn't really help you, it would just cause more worry and more stress. And no, we ain't come to life to stress. No. Just like, take it as I put in my efforts and this one came out that's cool like i'm still gonna put in my efforts and one day i'll be proud of the work i'm doing yeah. Yeah. it's like when you fall down six times you get up seven times yeah. yeah and i think i think the crazy industry is that people have guts you have like the grits for it mm -hmm. like regardless of whatever happens they still keep yeah, pushing keep pushing because yeah. being a youtuber is not easy because you have to record and post the videos into what the editor you're using. Edit. Yeah, you have to edit. 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 And that's where like the whole time consumption comes in when it comes to editing. Like I'll be like, okay, look at this. Remind me, I have to spend so time to do this. And then you always does that for me. So that that works for me. One of the mistakes I have made is setting goals and schedules bigger than me and in the end I get overwhelmed and sometimes get nothing done. One of the tips from my project management class is to set SMART goals. Now this stands for specific, measurable, attainable, relevant and time bound. So when you plan to create a schedule, make sure that the tasks that you are planning to carry out are specific. They have a metric or an indicator of progress. Then looking at your resources, your abilities and even your health, are the tasks realistic to achieving your goal? Next, are they relevant or is this just a wild goose chase? And they must be time bound. One day, perhaps two days, you don't have to cram it all up in an hour or two. And this works best if you plan ahead. Okay, so in summary, if you're creative and you want to balance that with school or university, give to Caesar what belongs to Caesar, choose your strategic L's. You can also start small or start simple. Stay inspired. Accept that you're going to have to put in more work than other students. Go with your own pace, don't follow the crowd. Take it easy and keep a schedule. Yeah, so um, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video and you loved our tips, let us know in the comment section down below. And I'll put in Jordan's details in the down below as well. She's check it out and like subscribe to her channel as well. And subscribe to mine. What are you waiting for? Thank you once again and bye. bye.